Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about uh, Ganner UI and uh, Metamask which is just going to be a basic uh, introduction. So um, Ganner UI, first of all, what it is, it's a software which allows you to um, have a private blockchain on uh, your own computer and the GUI part uh, refers to the fact that you're going to have a graphical user interface. So to say, it's a software that you download and that you install which is going to give you like this uh, private uh, blockchain in order to play uh, locally on uh, your own network. So it's, it's really straightforward to install. It's going to give you uh, fake uh, accounts um, for uh, Ethereum. So here we have uh, 10 different accounts. And the thing is that um, one of the main actions that you would like to perform in order to start to play with your own blockchain is actually to make some transaction. Uh, so to say to transfer some uh, money from uh, one account to another one. Um, and uh, in my case, I can uh, use, and I'm going to introduce you uh, to uh, MetaMask, which is an extension which is available for Google Chrome and, uh, and Firefox and many uh, other browsers, I guess. And in fact, uh, what MetaMask is doing, and that's the difference to note between uh, Ganache GUI and MetaMask, is MetaMask is here in order uh, to provide you the possibility to manage uh, your wallet. Uh, so to say your wallet is the possibility to add uh, many different accounts on it, uh, on different networks, including your own uh, local network, in order to perform uh, some transactions. So to say having just the Ganache GUI is not going to help you because you cannot make transactions uh, with the Ganache GUI and you will need for this to have this extension named uh, MetaMask. So once Ganache GUI is installed on your computer, what's going to happen is over here you get the setting part and within the setting part you get uh, the server settings and here you get the different information that you need. So to say here uh, the address of uh, your local server on which Ganache GUI is set on, here you get the port number and I guess that's the only information that you need in order uh, to kickstart uh, to work with, with MetaMask. Once uh, MetaMask is installed, uh, over here you will have the possibility uh, to go and select the network on which you want to play. So you're going to click over here on uh, RPC, uh, custom RPC, and here you're going to enter uh, here the information that you want. So in my case, just insert my own blockchain. Then the URL is HTTP, in my case, uh, 127. Oh, oh, uh, one and then the port so to say here uh, then id of the chain in fact i don't know what it is but when you click here on save it's going to tell you that this number is not right and uh, that you should enter another one and they give you the right one so uh, once you do so once you validate uh, those uh, those three parts you're going to con be connected in fact uh, to your own blockchain so this is uh, this is mine and then you can uh, start to play with it because what's going to happen over here is that you get the different account uh, that you can uh, that you can create so here um, i'm going to import an account here is going to ask uh, you your for your private key so here i'm going to import uh, one uh, one account let's take this one for example okay i'm just going to copy this uh, no, that's not the address I'm going to copy. I need to copy the private key. So the private key is is this one. Of course, you should not disclose this information, but here in my case, as it's a private, local, and fake blockchain, I don't mind. Uh, but that's typically the kind of thing that you should never do uh, in public. Okay, and then uh, you go over here. Over here, you click on import an account, and then you paste your private key over here, and then you click on import and there you go so now i have my account in fact i don't know if i can change the name of the account over here detail of the account um yeah i can change the name and i can just say floss 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 account let's, let's just call it like this floss account okay and uh, now in fact uh, we can start uh, to play with it so i have my floss account and let's imagine that i would like uh, to send some money to uh, to someone, okay? And this someone is giving me, in fact, his uh, Ethereum address, which is the following one. And I need to transfer uh, him or her uh, total amount of 50 uh, Ethereum. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here. This is my Floss account. I want to send uh, him or her some money. So I'm just going to paste over here uh, the given address. It's going to recognize it automatically. Here I'm going to define the amount that I want to send, so to say here 50 Ethereum. Here I get uh, from what I have the feeling it is, it's the 
price of the transaction. So there are some fees in order to mine on a blockchain. So I'm going to have to pay 50 Ethereum plus something, a little something, which is represented by what they call here the price of the gas transaction. Uh, gas fees and blah, blah, blah. So here I'm supposed to pay 50 point blah, 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 something um and 2000 something as as fees uh, as you can uh, i cannot show it at the same time but um, i wanted to show you uh, what is happening so here the transaction is in process um so i'm gonna get in fact over here notification when it will be performed i'm just uh, like uh, double checking okay here you see uh, transaction zero confirm view on etherscan so i cannot access it on etherscan because uh, that will mean that the transaction will go on the internet which is not the case but as you can see uh, the account has been uh, debited and it has been sent to this given address to which in fact i could have given a name as well uh, in order to uh, uh, track it better and um, and now I can definitely see it over here. As you can see, I don't have my uh, 100 Ethereum anymore. And here I'm getting, in fact, the, the balance which is credited. Um, and I can see, in fact, what happened within the block. So here I performed some other transaction before. And I'm uh, getting over here uh, the number of uh, blocks uh, which are getting uh, mined. Uh, so here it is. Uh, do I get more information value? I guess so. I guess there it is. And here I get uh, more information. So as a transaction with uh, the value. In fact, I don't know very much what is the difference between the blocks and the transaction. But all I can tell you is that as you can see, it works and that you can play with Gain UI and MetaMask. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.